Good morning, YouTube. Spring has sprung. Happy Easter. Good Friday, 2020. What year are we? 2024. Is it 2023? 2024. 2024. Is it? How old am I? Yes, it is. It's 2024. Unbelievable. That took me about five seconds to actually genuinely work that out. Anyway, here we are. It's a blue sky day. It's a bit windy. But um, here's my ADV 350. I've done a few videos about it. And today, because I'm bored, I am going to be fitting taking this here rather large stock exhaust and putting this on an aftermarket arrow exhaust now why am i doing this that's a very good question a question that i'm kind of asking myself to be honest a fair bit um i took a sleeping tablet about three weeks ago a 7.5 zopper clone and i woke up in the morning to find that i'd actually bought this and spent about 350 to 400 quid on the whole thing, including shipping. Um, I'm not overly bothered. Um, it was a bit of a surprise, I guess, when I woke up and realised that. But um, yeah, we'll stick it on, see what it sounds like. It's going to save a bit of weight. Um, I don't really think that aftermarket exhausts on things like this are really worth it. But I don't know, I'm displaying my idiocy, aren't I? So in terms of this exhaust, I have already taken the baffle out in order to do that. There's a little kind of weld here, tiny, tiny, tiny little one. You just tap it with a screwdriver. And when I say tap, I really do mean tap. So just a very, very light tap with a screwdriver and a hammer. That weld then just pops off. I'll try and actually find the weld on the floor somewhere so I can tell you what it looks like at the end of the video. And then there's a C-clip, which you just pop two needle nose plies into, pull them together, C-clip comes out. Simple as that. So that should make the actual exhaust sound more throaty. Of course, if you want the baffle back in, you just pop it back in again. It really is that simple. Um, should be relatively easy to fit. Obviously, all I have to do is, what have we got? We've got bolt here, one down here, one here. We've got to loosen off the clip here. And then of course, we've also got to remember to take off the O2 center to then be screwed directly onto the, um, the new exhaust. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a little sound test of the stock. And then after I fitted the Arrow one, we will see what that sounds like. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this down for a second because I have to pull in the brake. So, standard ADB 350. After the exhaust has been fitted. So without teaching you to suck eggs here, um, I've just got the OEM exhaust off and good opportunity while you've just done this just to get in there and just you know give it a good a good clean. Just make sure that all this grime on the kind of the, the swing arm and the rear of the actual engine is actually really cleaned up. So I'm gonna spend sort of five ten minutes just giving that a good scrub because these areas hard to get to when you're actually doing a clean so yeah take the opportunity while this is off to get in there so that is the arrow exhaust fitted if you know what you're doing and you've fitted exhaust before you could do this in 15 minutes took me about half an hour because i've had liberal kind of tea breaks and stuff but essentially the tools you're going to need for this is is it 14 Obviously socket set, 14 mil, 12 mil, and I can't remember what that last one was. I think it was an eight mil. Socket set, 17 millimeter spanner for doing the O2 sensor nut up there. And that is it. Um, because all of these ADVs are relatively new, because they're a, a newish model bike, you're not gonna have any problems with anything being kind of seized up or anything like that. Um, I've just turned it on. It, it's It's a really, I'm actually quite impressed. Let me turn it on and I'll give it a little blast. It's um, it's very different. Very, very, very different. Hang on.
so yeah throaty bark to it um, i'm actually i'm actually happy with it i'm quite i'm quite glad i took that sleeping tablet and spent 400 quid um yeah i think as well it looks so much nicer than the original so even if you weren't doing this for any kind of noise reasons aesthetically it looks great in comparison to the enormous unit that was on there before you know comparing in size you know is a big old a big old lump that came off i know that a lot of it is plastic shrouding that kind of goes over it but still comparatively the back end of that bike looks a lot cleaner a lot nicer a lot louder and thus potentially don't want to get into the argument but potentially a lot safer so yeah happy with that i'm going to take it out for a little ride see what it sounds like and um yeah get one if you wish